Jezebel. Um, Jezebel is a video blog. Um, it's a detailed and very intimate look into my life. Um, we're going to be discussing things like my career, my love life, or lack thereof. Um, we're going to be talking about my current projects, um, some of the things, my goals, future goals and aspirations. Um, but most importantly, um, Jezebel was created as a way of means, means for me to deal with some of the frustration and stress that I've been dealing with. I'm dealing with my dad's girlfriend and how that relationship has um, affected my an life. An affair can ruin someone's life or in, and affect the people around you. The most important thing is sometimes I think we forget that our actions of affect the people around us, not just us, but it does affect everybody else around you. And that's something I actually had to learn the hard way that my actions affect my children and the people around me. So I'm hoping that this video blog can kind of help people to kind of think twice about some of the things they do before they do it. And I'm hoping that some of the things I've lived through, some of my mistakes will not be mistakes. That I am definitely looking make. forward to sharing my life with you guys. This is going to be an in-depth look at family therapy, therapy for me. Um, I've always, um, for a very long time, just really wanted to make my grandmother and my mother very proud. And I hope this is um, a way of healing so that I'm able to fulfill that promise to make my grandmother very proud, to do something great with my life, um, to do something that will leave a legacy behind mm -hmm. for my children. Guys, a detailed look in to who I am, why I make the decisions I make, and how I've done the things that I've done, and where I see myself going, and what I want to do in 2017. I'm praying that, that 2017 is going to be the best year thus far, and I've worked very hard for the last few years to make sure that 2017 is going to be a awesome year. So stay tuned. people. I worked at um, Katie Candid, CS Porter Studios, JCPenney. Um, I've worked at picture places in the mall doing photography. Um, pretty much what happened was um, at, towards the end of my career at CPI Corporation, um, I realized that I was not an actual photographer. I knew nothing about photography. I knew nothing about how to use a camera. So I actually started taking my craft seriously. I actually started learning about how to use a camera, about learning what aperture was, learning about exposure, angles, um, and things like that. I really started to get creative with photography and um, making my actual title as photographer um, come true. So that's kind of where it all started. Um, after um, CPI, uh, I left CPI. Well, actually, I didn't leave CPI. What happened was one day I went to work like normal. I had been working there for six years. And I went to went to go to work as normal to go to my store, which I ran. And when I got to my store, um, the systems were all down. And um, after contacting regional managers and um corporate heads just to find out that the company could not even make payroll any longer so one day we all had a job literally one day we all had jobs and the next day we did not have jobs and because the company was so far in debt that there was no severance package there was no nothing it's like literally one day you're you know you're making salary and the next day you have zero dollars and for me, that was devastating because um, I was in a marriage where my husband did not work. So this is where the down will spiral. Um, it led me to lose a lot of things. And in losing a lot of things, I realized that um, I didn't actually need those things. And they were not good for me. So I can honestly say that that was... A turning point for me in my life on um, way more than um, one level. I was doing photography for a guy named Kevin Beck and I did a photo shoot for him and it was supposed to be paid and at the end of the photo shoot when I went to collect he had said something about some t-shirts he had to sell these t-shirts to get the money for me to pay me for my photography and he wanted my assistance in selling the t-shirts 
Um, so that seemed like more work to me. And um, it didn't really, uh, my relationship with Kevin Beck was very uh, minimal. Um, I do know that shortly after that, he started his own, um, shortly after I started VA Models, actually, um, he started his own photography modeling company. It's called Team Alpha or something like that. Um, I'm not sure if um, Team Alpha still exists. I am not sure if Kevin Beck is still scamming people out of their money and cheating models out of their money. But anyways, um, I do feel extremely horrible for the ladies who um, did get um, betrayed by Kevin Beck. Um, it gives a lot of modeling agencies a bad name. And that's kind of um, what I wanted to create and wanted to prevent with VA models. I wanted VA models to be a safe place for models to grow their career, for photographers to grow their career, for makeup artists to, to grow, their, grow their careers. And that's So right now, what we have going on with VA models is that we're going to be franchising out VA models. Um, hopefully, but in the year 2017, we will have 15 different locations in all over the world. Um, I am excited about rolling out um, this project with VA Models. Um, we're also going to be rolling out some digital training classes that are going to be available online. Um, they're going to be priced at anywhere from $4.99 to $10, where you can receive training from professional models all over the world. Um, I'm really excited about the direction that VA Models is going. We're going completely digital with all of our training processes. Um, we're going to be traveling a lot in 2017. Um, I'm really excited about rolling out this franchises to several other states. Um, VA Models has always been a growing business. Um, from day one, we've always been always been growing. The problem is, um, I realized very quickly with dealing with VA Models and models in Virginia dealing with businesses and advertising and people who would hire models in Virginia, I realized very quickly that we will not make any money, any money. Um, in models Virginia. are not su successfully so um, successful on a monetary level here. Um, of course, when you go to fashion shows, you see the same models all the time. So they do have careers. But um, I like to think that if you are calling yourself a professional model, that there is some kind of pay. Um, and with that I decided title. to early in my career that Virginia was not going to be the place where I made money off VA models. So I've been ever since that point um, securing a future for VA models by um, seeking employment for models in other states. Um, I am here recently being able to open doors and I will be bringing castings, huge castings, um, starting January um, 28th. In 2017, I'll be bringing castings for Broadway Digital here workshops. to Virginia. I'll be doing acting tutorials. Um, I'm going to be running a whole educational channel that will help models and Isn't actors, great. ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited about where VA Models is going, and I will see you guys on the other side. Those who didn't believe, I really feel like by the end of 2017, you will be a believer in VA Models because you will see us everywhere. That pink rose will haunt you. Push, 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 push.